There's a big red hound dog. Did this guy just jump up in my way? Dude, don't be in there. You get your feet caught in all that fencing or something. My guy. Dude, come on. No, guy. This way. Do not get back in that stuff. Come on. Come on. Come on, big man. True. Hey, nutsack. Over here. Man, don't walk over in that shit. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's a boy. I say I want a small horse, but I've already got two. Anyway, that's a pretty good take. A little bit of a pull from the curb. I don't know. A lot of folks say you can you can redo those benches right there. Some folks even say Cincinnati's kind of like Detroit. Anyway, I tried explaining to the guy my perspective on how and why it's not. But anyway, that's what I found yesterday. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Some of this stuff over here. Anyway, we got two okay looking mowers. Some sort of a critter cage. A patch of chair set, bench, glider, rocker. Sort of a SpaceX design. I don't know. Anyway, that's what it is. That's what it was. It's now Friday. Enjoy. I don't know if anyone happens to recall. Remember the grow room locker? I bought a locker a while back. It was, um, it was a grow shop, remember? It was full of the high pressure sodium lights and ballasts and there was all the the rock wool and the grow cubes and we dumped all the little grow marble things out whatever all that shit out in the driveway and it was them little round pebbles and we was rolling around on them like some sort of circus act and yeah man anyway grow stuff turns out if we would have held on to that we could have made a mint off of it which for what we i think that was a 20 dollar locker but um and we did kill her off. It had a box of brand new t-shirts in the packages. Um, I think a set of subwoofers. Subwoofers, woofers, subs, sub, sub base. Anyway, uh, there's the man. Yeah, so, um, some are at school, some are at the dentist, some are walking into the car. But the point is, yeah, um, I held on to a couple of the ballasts and a couple of grow lights, lamps, lights, lamp lights. Anyway, and a, an exhaust fan and some ducting. Basically, the setup, you know. But we porch picked up it here a while back because it's legal now, you know. But that's my point. Like, if I would have like had any foresight, I would have held on to it and done way better. Hey, nobody wants my free boots. Get back, jungle deck. I guess what I was saying was I kind of had plans, but maybe this summer, instead of plans, we'll have plants right out in the backyard. And full, full view of everybody. It's going to be so awesome. Anyway, what do you think? GSC. Hey, look, this was kind of cool. It's a gurgoyle. I guess goyle. I don't know. Anyway. Oh. You fell down. There you go. Well. See if we can't find a couple of bolts to fit in the back of your TV. That'll fit. We can force that in there. Alrighty. Her thing of a doodler. What's wrong with these thingy of a doodler? They don't thingy of a doodle right. Hold on. Hey, what are you guys doing? Sitting down there in the floor. Now they're working. 
working. Mr. Scrappity's knocking stuff over. Sorry, I'm left-handed. Just kidding. I'm actually not. But... Alright, that'll work. This is one of them TVs. I picked up two. Remember we threw two in the buggy here? What, what day was that? Ah, I'm not fire off a cigarette. Uh, I don't know. What day was that? Look, guys, we burned the carpet. <laughs> we'll have to pick some new stuff up out of the garbage. Anyway, uh, Tuesday. I think Tuesday we threw two TVs in the buggy. And uh, I already got one of them in the house. And this other one. This other one works, so I figured I figured we could do this with it. Um, I almost want to rip this stuff down, but maybe I won't. I don't know. Um, hmm. Um, where do I want to hang a giant TV? I thought about putting it right there, but then it's gonna be over there by the stairs, so. Probably just right there, I guess. But I don't know that, where is the thingy. Is there one behind there? Uh, yes. Like right around in there. Let's see if we can find it. Not there. That's what they're called. Anyway. I think usually you find those at thrift stores and church sales. I'm just kidding. That's the last place you find that kind of stud. Maybe. I don't know. Depends on what your definition of is is. Also, it depends on what your definition of a stud is. I was talking about that board in the wall. Alright, let's plug this player in while I got it dangling here. I'm afraid this TV's going to knock this table over and Tyler's going to knock that little lampshade thing my doodler off. And then I'm going to get myself yelled at. Uh, we'll do green as video. Because I don't have yellow. And then red is red. And blue is white. That makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, doesn't it? Oh, let's hope this little piece of string will hold this booger. It's kind of heavy. Also, we got a... I'm not tall enough. I figured it was going to happen. Uh, Go figure though, because the one kid she needed a TV. So right after I go out and buy her TV, I find a bunch of working TVs. <coughs> but the kid's not the scrap man. They're not into that waiting and wanting shit, you know. They needed, so I got a <sighs> damp ass weather. Got me sniffling and snuffling. Hey, we need one of them little um. Go, go, gadget extension cords. I thought I seen and saw one somewhere. I just don't know where. 
Ah, falling box, falling clothes, runny nose. As I cast a spell upon you. Anyway. And it's Friday, and anything goes. Except that. That might go Saturday morning. I don't know. But yeah, I got all that loaded up. Right? Anyway. Uh, what were we doing? Oh, yeah. Little extension guy. I know I saw one. Where did I see one? Uh, somewhere. There is a cord. Hmm. I'm looking. I'm just not seeing. Okay. Um. Let me go find one. Darn it. It's a smart TV. Oh, I got one. Anyway, uh, where's the little DVD player, dude? Um, I don't think it would pick up the Wi-Fi from out here, would it? I don't know. We'll find out. Hold on. That's a big booger, though, ain't it? Look, it takes up half of the damn snackle wall. There we go. Do something. What happened? What happened, they did? Uh, we were making such good progress. Uh, hi, everybody. <laughs> Let me see if I can figure it out. Why is it wet? Everything's wet. Where have you been? Living in the Amazon. That's all it does is drain. Anyway. I want you guys to look over here. This is where I pull my wagon in. But you see. See I have this rut. It's. It's a deep rut. I'm just saying. You got a rut in the yard. In the driveway. In the thing. In the spot. In the place. I'm just saying. Anyway. <laughs> what are we doing? Somebody needed to... Some guy was all like, Man, I live in this house and I don't have a clear plastic roof like you, Mr. Scrappity. And it's really, really dark. And I seen you had this... Hey, there's Mr. Scrappity. And I seen you had this pretty cool lamp. And I was all like, I do. I had do have a pretty cool lamp. And, and they was all like, do you mind if I might could think about maybe borrowing that pretty cool lamp, Mr. Scrappity? And then I was all like, that's a wonderful idea. That would bring me great pleasure. So then I had to do this. Which is what we're doing now. It's coming out here and getting the damn thing. Anyway. Why don't you just sit right there? That'll work. I need two hands. How else do you expect me to work a pole? That's how you work a pole. I don't know. I don't know anything about poles. Oh. I know this thing's heavy. <laughs> I'm fragile, and I've got seven feet. I'm not good at walking. So when Miss Amy asked why we broke it, we're going to tell her it was an accident. Luckily, I don't think we did. Don't. What's happening? Stop that. Anyway. This thing's slicker than snot out here. Somebody commented and said, Did you slip, Mr. Scrappity? No, I got plenty of traction on these boogers. What do you think? 
Look at that. Ain't nothing left, man. Good boots, though. And they're Goodyear welts, so you can have them resold, but that costs money. I'm just letting them borrow the lamp. Hey, look at the side of that box. Now, do you really want to look at the side of the box? Yeah, that was my plan. That was the plan. at it I think I'm just gonna slip this table onto the load I think it should right down in there I mean it's not gonna happen that easy but snap as I may it just it just sits there huh. You know, I mean, it's not the prettiest thing in the world. But, uh, these guys are expensive, you know. And it works. So. Let's see what we can do with it. What do you say? Can you say, I don't see no Scott Spreader? I don't see no Poulon Pro lawnmower. Can you say that? What'd you get for it, Mr. Scrappity? I let him borrow it. I had to cut his grass. But it was a nice mower, so probably could have got some good money. Uh, yards pulling what? I can help you. Yeah, you do the shovels. You do the shovels. It's a bird. I was chasing the bird. Right. It's a little cool out today. Tuners? I don't see no tuners. Oh, let's see. I can carry you in the tuners. Oh, okay. yeah. What? One of these down. One, you think one's heavier than another? Mm, I don't know. Probably. Anyway.
I think there might be a little weather moving in. There's always a dark cloud above Scrappity. Hey, check this out, though. Look. I slapped this table up on here, right? I think I might have said I was going to do so and such. But anyway, check out my flag, ladies. Anyway, where's the tag? Where is it? It's a Vera Wang. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, somewhere. Yeah, it's a Vera Wang dress. So, uh, anyway, not too many dudes out there flagging the wagon with a Vera Wang dress. Anyway, I don't really want to get struck by lightning, so. But yeah, we got it all. Not all put up on there. For the most part. Hey, if it starts pouring down the rain, maybe we'll go out there and get us some clear plastic roof in the rain type footage. Anyway. Oh, I don't see two red mowers and lawn tools. I don't see all kinds of stuff. Kind of cool, huh? I like it. <coughs> Is that hail? I think it's hailing. Oh, hell no. <laughs> anyway. Oops, I hit stop. And then it stopped. Whoa! That was pretty close, Steven. Did you see that? Huh. You think we're safe in a schnackle with a clear plastic roof? I don't know, man. I don't know. Hey, it's hailing again, I think. Hey, I got a question for you. Look how we're starting to get some buildup and stuff, you know? Just some algification. I don't know what you call that. I don't know. Uh, my side of the schnackle. You want to study me algification slides? But anyway, the point is, what I was thinking is, if we got on the ladder and we got on the top far side up here, and we just squirted like a bottle of Dawn across the whole thing, and then just let it rain on it and soap sud down, do you think that would clear some of that up? Because I know Dawn's pretty, like, earth-friendly, environmentally safe and stuff, so if it was just soap sudden right off the side. Or even some car wash soap or something. What do you think would work for that? To where we ain't got to do no scrubbing. We could just dump it and let it sit and wash its, wash its way down. What do you think? Any ideas? Yeah.